Greetings, fellow partisan, I'm Roberto Vitucci, your humble jester. Wait, I mean uh, your leather pattern designer. In this video, I will guide you through the making of this jester hat and collar. Roberto Vitucci, leather patterns. So let's talk about the pattern. You will find uh, five uh, head sites in this pattern for the hat. And uh, the sides uh, go from uh, 46 to 66 uh, centimeters. With two options for the height. About uh, this part, I mean, uh, one uh, that is this hat uh, is 45, 45 centimeter. Uh, another version is uh, 33 centimeter long, uh, a bit shorter. Uh, that will be good if you are making uh, this hat for uh, a kid, for example. For the collar, there are three sides, 14 centimeter to 38. To get the correct size for your head, you have to print this pattern in a personalized scale. I use Adobe Acrobat Reader to open and print a PDF file. In there, you will find a personalized scale option where you can uh, change uh, the 100% and put a uh, 101, 102 or lower value uh, of uh, 99, 98. You will find a little guide uh, in the pattern to under better understand of the scale of the pattern. So about the material you will need. To make the biggest sides, you will need more or less uh, 100 for 120 cm of leather. Uh, consider that the pattern has been designed to be cut out of uh, one millimeter thick leather. And don't go any higher than this, or it will be too heavy to wear. Plus, if you want to achieve the same effect of having two, two colors of the same uh, layer of leather, you need to get a smooth side of the flesh side. Usually, this is. Uh, you get this when uh, it has been split on a machine by the seller. If you're looking for the same leather I used in all my video, you can look for Pasquale Stellitano. You can uh, look in, on his site or contact him on Facebook. About the leather I used, it's a Latigo leather, uh, half chrome, half tanvec tan leather. And uh, I painted the back of the leather with a uh, Angelus acrylic acrylic paint. Uh, this for the main body of the hat and the collar. For the strip, uh, the side strip, uh, I painted a brown leather, uh, unfinished, unfinished leather. Uh, this leather is perfect to paint with acrylic paint. You can still see the vein of the leather. Next you will need a 2 mm aluminum filament. You will need 20 bell 8 for the hat, 12 for the collar, and 30 rivet of 7 mm. Check the video info, there you will find all the link for uh, everything that you need, uh, be it leather from Pasquale Stellitano to the, where I get the bell the, and the filament. That's all you need. Let's start the assembly process. Follow the instruction on the pattern for the sides and uh, of many pages you need to print. The pieces are marked and uh, everything that you need is to cut the dotted line and join them together. Secure the pattern on leather using masking tape. Apply wax and start punching. You can use a 1 or a 1.5 mm round punch. I use a 1 mm round punch.
on stone punching. Cut carefully on the line by hand or with the help of a ruler. Here I'm going to stitch the side strip to the main body. Uh, be careful that the side strip have a different point end. The one that has an inward curve goes to the point end of the main body. Start stitching from the point end of the main body. Uh, after two to three stitch you can insert the filament and go down all the way.
without the side strip stitched, the hat can start to take shape. Here I'm using a double side tape to join together the pieces. What you see here is a panel of polystyrene that will uh, allow to align uh, two pieces of leather using needle as guid. Repeat till all the pieces are uh, joining together to form a circle. Stitch all the main body pieces, uh, starting from the horizontal line, followed by the vertical uh, cross stitching uh, between pieces.
Here you have to add the decorative pieces uh, on the lower horizontal line. You can start centering the gold pieces on every connection between uh, bo main body pieces. Here you can see how to fix the bell on the little pieces uh, and then how to stitch it uh, on the point end of the main body. The process is the same uh, both for the hat and the collar.
Now come the collar. The assemble is the same as the main body pieces of the hat. You have to stitch them the same way. Here is the stitching of the velcro on the collar strap. Apply the velcro on the grain on one side and on the flesh side on the other. Then punch through the hole. Uh, be careful to use uh, a spare punch <laughs> because if you have a velcro like, like mine that has a red glue on it, it can clog your punch. Now you will only need to rivet all the pieces together on the collar strap.
that's all. Thank you for watching. Check the video info below. There are all the links you need for this pattern. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.